In this short video, I am going to show you just how simple and how easy it is to use the PTT interrupt on the Kenwood radios. Now, both these radios are set up for PTT interrupt on encode and decode. And what this means is when one of the radios is transmitting, another radio may interrupt it. So to show you how this works, I push PTT on this radio and one, two, three, being received on this radio. I can then push PTT on this radio and hold it and one, two, three, I am now going through from this radio. So what happens is when someone is talking, another radio can interrupt it. When you push PTT on this radio, you can then quickly click PTT on the second radio and it will then interrupt. And this one will have a beep so as it knows that it's been interrupted. Uh, and then the other calling radio can talk. It's quite common to have PTT interrupt only uh, installed on the management radios. I think this is actually a bad idea because when you're using PTT interrupt, the interrupted radio always knows the ID of the radio that interrupted it, assuming it has a display. And it may well be that a manager, although a more important person, the actual message is far more important coming from someone else. So the ability for anyone to interrupt anyone else is actually a very positive thing. And I think all radio should have that because it is known who is interrupting you, then they'll only do it when it is actually very important. To implement PTT interrupt, you have a couple of check boxes to tick and then a drop down box as shown here. And that's all it is. And it's then up and running. And you have the ability to select encode or decode on each radio. But I would suggest that you have it all ticked on all radios so anyone can interrupt anyone else. And this is all you need to know about PTT Interrupt on Kenwood radios and specifically on the NX1000 series.